All right. Let's start at the very top of the mat. Bring your hands into prayer. Stand tall. With your inhale, stretch your arms overhead, big stretch. And then exhale, fold into a forward bend. Keep your knees soft, let the upper body relax forward. Feel free to gently move your head, roll your shoulders out, or even sway your body side to side, keeping the movement very smooth and controlled. Eventually find your way back to the middle. Place your hands on your shins on the mat, looking for a flat back along the spine, halfway up. Exhale, fold into a forward bend, and inhale, coming into a chair pose as you make your way all the way back up to standing, reaching your arms out and overhead, palms touch, gentle back bend, and back to the start. Let's keep going. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fold into forward bend. Inhale, wave up halfway for that flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat. Let's walk the first one back into high push-up position. One at a time, one foot at a time, back into high push-up. Strong high push-up position. Hold it here for a moment. Draw your navel in. Long spine, long neck. One more deep breath. Lower the knees down onto the ground here for a softer version or keep the knees hovering off the mat as you take low push-up. Elbows close to the body. And inhale through into a cobra. Just a gentle one for now. And then as you exhale, release into onto the floor. Inhale, draw your chest forward, lift up. Gentle cobra and then exhale to lower. Only go as high as necessary to feel that stretch to the front of the body. Inhale, lift. Here we go. Release. Fall into forward, uh, into onto the floor. One more time. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, release all the way down to the floor. Curl your toes under. Push your way back up into a high push up and back into downward facing dog. Hold it here for a moment. Pressing down into the hands. Look for lots of length. Look for lots of length through the back of the legs. Bend one knee. Straighten the other leg and switch. Switch. And one more time to switch. And finding your way back to downward facing dog. Both legs a little straighter, those heels reaching down towards the mat. At the end of this exhale, gaze in between the hands. Step, walk or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Once you get there, inhale, lifts you up halfway, flat back. Exhale to fold into a forward bend and inhale. Let's come all the way back up, stretch your arms out and overhead. Take a gentle back bend and exhale. Bring your hands back into prayer position. Let's keep going. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step, walk or hop back into high push-up. Taking your low push up from your toes or from your knees. Inhale through into cobra or maybe up dog. Engage those legs, strong legs if you're coming into up dog. And exhale, let's take it back into downward facing dog. Gently lower those knees down onto the floor. Puppy pose, walk your hands forward. Forearms on the ground for a softer version or long arms. Allow the chest to press down towards the ground. And inhale to shift forward, coming into cobra. Point the toes. Not cobra, sorry, sphinx pose. Forearms on the ground, relax the shoulders, nice long neck. Good. All right. Let's bring it back into our downward facing dog. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back, down dog. Pressing down into the hands. Let's bend the knees, bring the knees into its thighs. Press the chest down towards the ground, let the head drop. Hold it here, one more breath. And then perhaps a little hop forward, with the feet forward, or just walk your feet up towards the top of the mat. Lift up halfway for flat back. Exhale to fold. And inhale, let's come all the way back up. Stretch those arms overhead, looking for that gentle back bend. And exhale, back to the start. Let's keep going, inhale, let's reach those arms overhead. Exhale, fold into a forward bend. Yeah. Sinking into chair pose. Reach those arms overhead, strong chair pose. And then exhale, 
full forward bend. One more time. And exhale, release. Maybe wrapping the hands around the legs. Deeper stretch to the back of the body. Let's do that one more time. Bend your knees, sink deep into your chair. Engage strong core. And here we go, belly towards the thighs as you straighten the legs. Deep into a forward bend, maybe the legs a little straighter if you're a little bit warmer now, back of the legs. Straighten those legs, one more deep breath. And release, hands on your shins. Lift up halfway for flat back. Hands on the mat, step, walk, or hop your feet back into a high push-up. Okay. Strong core, knees down for a softer version. We'll take low push-up. Inhale through into cobra or up dog with the thighs lifted off the mat. Remember, engage the legs if you're doing that. Next exhale, take it back. Down with facing dog. Yeah. Let's work those shoulders. Start to curl your toes under. Maybe a slight bend on your knees as you roll the spine forward into a high push-up position. Take a low push-up. Press all the way back up. And then back into downward facing dog. You got it. Let's do that again. Up to your tiptoes, roll the spine forward, high push up position. Do your best to take the low push up from your toes or from your knees. Push all the way back up and back into downward facing dog. Good. Let's do that one more time. Roll it forward. Strong. Take that low push up. Push back up, high push up, roll back into downward facing dog. Hold it here, bring the knees down if you need to for child's pose. Two more deep breaths. One more. Bend your knees, belly into the thighs, a light spring to your elbows as well, a gentle bend. Perhaps a small hop or a bigger hop as you come forward. Lift up halfway for that flat back. Exhale to fold into a forward bend. And inhale, let's come all the way back up. Stretch those arms overhead into a gentle back bend. And exhale, bring your hands back into a prayer position. Okay. Let's sink into the chair pose once again. Hands can remain in prayer or reach those arms overhead, biceps by the ears. And then fold forward bend. Okay. Come on back up, inhale, back into a chair pose strong and then fold a deeper forward bend maybe wrapping your hands around the back of the legs letting the upper body relax forward or a stronger stronger pull sink back into chair pose once again reach arms overhead strong okay and let's fall into forward bend yeah. next inhale wave up halfway for that flat back Exhale, hands on the mat, step or hop back into high push up. Okay. Low push up. Into cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, let's take it back. Downward dog. Good. All right, let's take our right leg. Lift it up high for three legged dog. You can, just keep, you can keep those legs as is, a little stronger. Maybe come onto your left tippy toes, and even a little bit of rotation for the right ankle in one way and then the other. And then back into three-legged dog. And we'll step the right foot forward into a runner's lunge. Okay. Now we're going to take a little bit of a move, uh, a flow here by rotating into the outer edges of your feet. So the right foot is going to rotate towards the outer edge of the right foot as well. And at the back foot, the same thing, you're going to rotate towards the, the heel down towards the left side, okay? So try that. Rotate the right foot towards the outer edge and the left foot as well, and you're leaning into that left hand. And just maybe a slight turn, or you can reach that right hand all the way back, as far back as you can go, and then rotate back to the front, okay? If you don't like to flow, just stay where you are. Just stay here and hold it here. Otherwise, we'll keep going, coming back to the front. Couple more times like this. Reach it back and forward, and one more. Good. All right, and then we're going to take that front foot and walk it back a little bit, halfway back, 
and we'll turn it all the way to the outer edge of that left foot. So now you've got the right foot at a 90 degree angle. Right foot at a 90 degree angle and back leg is straight or you can bring that back knee down to the ground for a softer version of this pose. But we're going to take a side stretch here. So you want to make sure that the left wrist is under the shoulder or slightly forward. Okay, you can come down onto your forearms too, no problem. Look for a softer variation, modification for your body. Just lift the hips up a little higher and reach that right hand forward towards the front of your mat, looking for a side stretch. Even stronger, come on up to your tiptoes and then release and let that right arm reach back. Let the hips drop a little. Okay, lift up, stretch it forward and then release. Lower, let the hips sink. Let's do that again. Two more times. And let's go one more. And there we go, release. Come all the way back down and then make your way back to your downward facing dog from here. So you can stay there in down dog or you can take a stronger vinyasa style yoga flow here, low push up, cobra up dog, and back to downward facing dog. Good. So pressing into down dog, we're going to take our left leg and reach it up high, three legged dog. You just stay right here, or maybe come up onto your right tiptoes, and then circle that left ankle in one way, and then the other. All right, and then take that left foot and step it up in between the hands. And remember, we're going to rotate to the outer edges of both feet. Okay, so you're going to rotate to the outer edge of your left foot. And as you do that, the right hand is planted down on the ground. You need to reach the left hand back as far back as comfortable, letting the hips sink a little as you do that. And then all the way back to the front. Okay, keep going like this. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Good. One more. You're going to reach it back, look for the IT band stretch, and then coming back forward, hands on the ground, walk that left foot back about halfway back looking for that 90 degree angle. You're still on your right hand. Remember, you can come down to your forearms too. All right, let's take that little lift here. You can come on up to your tiptoes for a stronger version. As you reach that left hand, reach it forward, look for a side bend, or working those abs, and then Come on back and release. Let the hips sink down a little. Inhale, lift and forward. And come on back up and release. All right, let's do that two more times. Getting hard and release. One more. And soften and let's bring those hands back down into the mat. Move your way back into downward facing dog. Remember, you can stay right there or you can shift forward and take your vinyasa. Low push up, cobra up dog, back into downward facing dog. So just holding here down dog or bring those knees down, take a quick break, and a little bit of a roll up for your wrist is great here. Good. All right. Let's come back into downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment. All right, at the end of this exhale, gaze in between the hands, step or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold and inhale. Let's come all the way back up. Stretch your arms overhead, looking for a gentle back bend. And exhale, hands back into prayer position. See that one more time. Inhale, stretch arms overhead. Exhale, fold, forward bend. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands on the mat, step or hop back, high to low push up. Inhale through to your cobra up dog. And exhale, take it back into downward facing dog. Good. Now let's bring those forearms down onto the ground, coming into a dolphin pose. Okay, and then you can shift forward into a low plank pose, still on your forearms. You might have to step the feet back a little and just holding it here again in your low plank pose and making sure that the hips are not too high or sagging too low. Good, keep breathing. 
One more deep breath. And then take it back into a dolphin flow. Walk your feet back in again. Make sure the hips are nice and high, strong core. All right. And take that right leg, lift it up high. Three-legged dog in the dolphin version. Oh, Three-legged dolphin, I guess. Bring that right leg down, back down onto the ground. And take that left foot and lift it up high. Good. Now let's bring it back into dolphin pose. Okay, and then we're going to uh, bring those knees back down onto the ground. And let's look for a nice child's pose here for a moment. Good. And coming back up into a tabletop pose. Let's bring that right foot forward into a runner's lunge. You can curl the toes under or you can uh, you can lift the knee off the mat or you can keep the knee on the ground. Just hold it here for a moment. Let those hips sink down and forward. Good. Keep it there. One more deep breath. Only if you want a little bit more, come into a crescent lunge. You can lift the arms overhead. In strong pose here. Again, it can be done with the back knee down on the ground. Dragon pose instead. Good. Looking for a spinal twist. Bring your hands into a prayer position. Bring that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press in to the outside of the knee and thigh. Looking for that twist. Back leg strong. Good. Two more. And last breath here. And wind back to the front, release the hands down onto the mat, take it back into downward dog. Give that little bit of movement, walk the feet out. And next we're going to step the left foot forward to come into that runner's lunge. Once again, just holding it here for a moment, give the chance, the muscles a chance to soften a little even as you stretch it. Again, back knee can come down. We're going to come into our crescent lunge or dragon pose. When you're ready, you're going to make your way up. Okay, or you can just stay there with the hands on the ground. No problem. And strong legs. Be pressing that right heel back. And then looking for a spinal tw twist, bringing that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Good. Back leg strong. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to rotate back to the front, bring those hands back down onto the mat, find your way back to down dog. And as always, you can flow or you can just stay where you are and remain in downward dog. Good. We bring those knees down onto the ground. Come on down, grab a seat and stretch those legs out in front of you. Give it a little bit of movement. And we're going to keep those legs straight and come into a forward fold with the spine straight. So it might just be here that you are, or you can hold onto the backs of your thighs, calves, ankles, or the feet. But wherever you hold on to, lift up halfway to lengthen that spine, pressing the belly towards the thigh, and then fold deep into your forward bend and stretch out the back of the legs. Feel really nice here. One more deep breath. Come back up. Carefully make your way back up. Hands slightly behind you with the fingertips pointing back. And if possible, keep those legs straight and press up into an inclined plane. If this is too hard, bend the knees. Come into a reverse tabletop instead. But keep your gaze straight up towards the ceiling. Okay, so gaze straight up. Keep pressing down into the hands, into the feet. Maybe lift the hips up a little higher and then release, bring the hips down onto the ground. Okay, and we're going to come all the way back down onto the mat. Draw your knees into the chest. Give that little bit of movement, rolling it out in one direction with the knees, one direction and then the other. Good. I'm going to give those 
makes a little love. You're going to come on down to your back. I'm just going to move so that you can see me. We're going to cross the right knee over the left, coming into um, shoelace on your back. So you're just going to be on your back. You can wrap your hands around your thighs and drawing the knees in if you're feeling that in the hips and the sides of the legs. You're feeling it right there. Stay where you are. If you need a little bit more, grab a hold of your shin, draw the legs in towards your body, or you can even grab a hold of your feet and just a little pull, very gentle tug to deepen the stretch. And then if you feel your tailbone lifting off the ground, you'll want to press down into, press the tailbone down. Okay. So you feel your tailbone lifted off the ground like that, you want to press it down to deepen that stretch. Good. All right. One more deep breath. Let's unwind those legs and let the knees drop side to side in that windshield wiper movement. And then you'll next wrap the left knee over the right and just the same thing. You can wrap your hands around the thighs, shin, grab an ankle or feet and then press the knee in towards the body. Again, tailbone presses down to deepen the stretch. Deep breaths. Okay, one more. And then unwind those legs, release the, the feet back down onto the ground and then let those knees drop side to side in windshield wiper movement. Good. And then we're just going to uh, come into a spinal twist on the back. If you have a favorite twist to take and go, if you have a favorite twist that you'd rather take, please feel free to do that. Otherwise, on your back, you're going to bump your hips towards the right and let the knees drop to the left and just have your arms stretch out, shoulder height that anchors the shoulders, and then turn your gaze away from the knees. Yeah, it's just a nice stretch for that low back area. If you need a little bit more, try to wrap the top knee over the bottom to see if that makes a difference, if that deepens the stretch for you. Good. Now let's release that. Bump your hips towards the left side. Again, arms stretch out shoulder high and just let those knees drop towards the right this time. If you need more, you're going to wrap the top knee over the bottom. Let's just see how that feels. And then turn your gaze to the opposite side. Okay. Let's bring it back to the middle. Bring the hips back to the center and just a little moment here to do whatever needs to be done. A little bit of a roll out, okay, a little bit of movement, windshield wipers, happy baby even if you need it. And then we're going to come into Shavasana. So I'll leave you here to uh, take your Shavasana. Take about minimum two minutes. The more you can do the better it will be for you, maybe five, maybe 10 minutes in Shavasana. And, um, you know, just allow yourself to relax for a moment, just to integrate everything that you've done. Uh, be in your really relaxing Shavasana, make sure that the body is comfortable so that the mind doesn't get distracted. And then enjoy your Shavasana. And I'd like to thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like this class, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you receive more of these kinds of classes. Thank you very much and namaste.